Let's run it back. Again we go. New archetypes abound. So as you can see, the game starts out really simple and then uh, increases in complexity from there. But uh, but yeah, that was the final boss. We uh, we did not quite realize my dreams. Yeah, the book that converts energy to mana would have been amazing. Also, the, uh, the boss relic that generates mana would have also been uh, quite nice. Uh... But, you know, not every run can have everything. This is the, uh, these are the rules of the road, as it were. Uh, we don't need the hit points. The energy is probably better. Uh, we have a shiv. The dark whetstone. I think early on we can, oh, we can't take both. So I'll take, I'll take those. Uh, we can sell the dark whetstone for more money if we come across a shop. So I'm going to grab that, even though I don't think it's uh, it's what we need. So dark, so the, the duct tape is uh, very, con still very confusing to me. Okay, so, no, so you get seven experience for killing this guy. That's what I thought. Uh, sorry, that was, a, that was a, I wonder from last time around. Uh, so you do want to kill cowardly enemies first. Curse of honey adds too slow. That's okay. It, it's gone at the end of combat. Oh, no, it's gone on. It's on use. Got it. We are one damage short on that one. That's, uh, you hate to see that. Get rid of you. And then... Again, so close. I wish you could replace a curse with a curse. Uh, I'll take the two damage on that one. Okay. Not our uh, not our finest work by any means, but early game you can really afford to. Uh... Oh, we'll pick up a regen wand. We can at least use it for the time being to uh, to get ourselves back into. Oh, hold on a second. Are you saying are you saying we might have ourselves a cleaver build? That would be interesting. We can't take any more items. We could keep the shiv over the cave fish. Nah, we'll use the cave fish to, uh, to recoup some HP. So there we go. Get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of goodness going. And now the good news is we can just one shot the bee so we don't have to worry about the curses. Hey, Robbie, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I do need to use this at some point. There we go. Just get rid of that. And block up, even though the uh, the slow is going to mean that we're not uh, we're not in great shape. Always awesome to see you, Robbie. How are things? <laughs> All about those batteries. All about those batteries. Oh, we got we got Robbie's for days, but uh, but Robbie is the uh, is the OG. He is uh, he is from before before. We'll grab the bubble because it's quite nice. Regen, haste, all those things are good. And then oh, so the wheel is telling us that it wants to uh, it wants to play ball. So How are we going to make this work? Okay, so it turns clockwise. So we want to start it over here. Hold on. We're we're completely overhauling everything, it seems, uh, to make this work. So we're going to go here, here, here. We don't need the wand. We don't know if we need cleavers yet. We regened up to full, so I think we're good on that front. We can put this here. And then we, we forsake mana? Is that what we do? We do need a key on this floor, so we'll grab this. Alright, we're getting we're getting a little crazy here, but I want to see what this uh what this wheel can do. 
I want to know if this is only going to add 15 damage or more. And then the cap. Ah, we can't take any more. For now, I don't think there's any value to having that there. And we don't care about buffing the cleaver. So I'll keep that. Uh, I'll keep this. No shops. Again. Oh, did I not take the bubble? Okay. All right. Oh, the Jade Axe. This item is conductive, deals 14 damage, adjacent weapons gain plus one damage. Yes, new patch, uh, new patch, Rob, for sure. We have the Cleansing Rag, we have the Philosopher's Stone, we have the Cursed Blade. We got a lot of things here. This is, this spin seems worth it. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think we'll go again, but, uh... Now we have to ask the question. Okay, so this is moves forward, then turns clockwise. So we can have it go like this and like this, I think. Oh wait, this costs two gold. Oh my. All right, we're gonna we're gonna need to come up with a a plan if we're gonna utilize that. Uh, Yeah, I'm less excited about that. I do want to play with the wheel for sure. But I think we'll I think we'll go with that. Okay, so Oh, wait, that used up my energy? Okay, that didn't work out at all. Oh, the wheel costs energy. All right, we we may just die. <laughs> uh Maybe the wheel, I, I don't know which direction the wheel moves. That's the, that's the problem here. I thought, I assumed this was the top of the wheel, so it moved this way, but I guess it moves in the direction of the blue arrow. Uh, so let's see, let's try that. Yes, it does, okay. So. Hmm. We may die. <laughs> <laughs> the the wheel did not work exactly the way that I expected it to. Clearly. I guess we'll we'll make sure we're fully blocked up before we uh before we go any further. Um <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, 12. Okay, we just barely we just barely covered the difference there. Okay. So we want I think we want as square a space as possible. Uh, we just got rid of our cleavers, of course. I don't I don't think we can afford the Jade Axe. We would need like a bunch of piggy banks, and even then, like, I don't think it's that good. So if we put it here, we need a bunch of energy to use the wheel, though. The wheel's not like the letter where you can just move it around. What does a wheel build look like? So it's basically a weapon that hits for five. And it seems to only operate once. So I think we want a lot of... Oh, maybe we want like a bunch of shivs. Uh, the golden shiv creates two gold if you secure a kill with it. That's the, uh, that's what it does. Okay, so we do this, and then the wheel is going to move across, and then we get plus five to all of these. That seems like it'll be good. Maybe we just, maybe we just leave the wheel as one side here. We can't take any more items, so for now, I guess I'll keep the, the axe, but I don't, we need a, I don't know what we need to generate it. Uh... To make it work, that is. Okay, so we spend one energy doing that, right? And now 9, 13, cool. We need to block for one. And then... Okay. But now that, yeah, the wheel only affects for that one time. 
So we'll just get rid of you. We'll ice you. That gets us there, and then we just do those two. Yeah, the wheel. The wheel is uh is interesting. We'll, we'll see if we can get to the point where we can get some gold out of the Golden Shiv. I guess if we could, like, always get the Golden Shiv to proc. Now, we have to block up twice here to be safe. So this does eight. So we can do that and then secure it with the Golden Shiv. There we go. All right. Cavefish is important. That's important. Uh... Is having a shiv is important. We put that there, and I think all of them will get it. And then... Okay, we can't take any more. Do we even have a shop on this floor? No. We do have a key, so we'll go to this. We're certainly on, on our heel. Now we can put consumables here. Oh yeah, we can put consumables here, actually. That's... A good point. Now, moves forward until stopped. When is finished moving turns clockwise. When this moves, adjacent weapons gain plus five damage this turn. I, I'm just wondering if I put this like this, would it would it get plus five, ten, fifteen, twenty damage? Adds eight weak to self. Adds twelve haste. Not. Not what I'm looking for in my life. Okay, so I think that's it for that. We'll be in a muskrat brigand. I think we have what it takes to to knock these two out. Get a bit of healing off. Do one of those to get defended. Nice. Okay, we're we're scraping back. We're scraping back. For one turn, I want to do this and see if we get two hits of the wheel from this. Uh, unless we figure out some other smart things to do, joke. Uh, yes, <laughs> for sure. Uh, I think it it definitely will. Okay, we'll apply poison to all. We can take the mana stone for... Actually, we'll take the hatchet for the moment. Although we already gave up the 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 cool hatchet. Let's see. Nunchucks. An energy relic seems like it'd be really good. Oh, this is new. Each turn adds one energy. When armor or shield is present, gains minus one energy. Well, we, we do have a shield at the moment. All right, let's just, let's just put ourselves somewhere over here and just see. Hopefully we don't get the curse. Okay. Dodge potion is not not terrible. Okay, so we do this. Now I want to see if this got hit twice. 18 plus 10 two times wheel. It did. Okay, so long items, I think, are very interesting for us. We could potentially generate a ton of damage with them. The cleavers cost... I don't really want to take one damage. Uh, I could spend two gold to get rid of a, a U. I think it's worth it. This is trouble, though. I already see the uh, the danger. Oh yeah, joke. That was uh, that was nightmare nightmare fuel to be sure. Uh, that that bounce out was just like the worst, uh, <laughs> the worst ever. Uh, see, I don't think I don't think lots of free things is. Is the play with this? Maybe it is though. Okay, you're roasted. Well, can we get this though? Deals two damage. Nope. We're oh wait, this deals one damage? Yeah. 
Nice. Now this buffs... This only buffs for the turn, too. Who who has this much money laying around? That's what I'm wondering. We should be able to get it with the shiv next turn. Ooh, this, though. Yeah, we get it with the shiv. So we reorganize to take this and then grab that. Nice. Okay, we're not... Hatchet is useful, I guess. Because it's at least free. Oh. Interesting. I'm really just waiting for a shop. Hmm. I think we move this up one, move this here, and then these all get the benefit of this. Okay. Well, if I'm going, if I'm going for this, I need to, uh, I need to invest. Oh, also that was not in place. And then these cleavers, I think I need to accept that cleaver build is not happening this time. Let's uh let's do the rabbit. We we could use a little bit of a little bit of healing, I will say. The hatchet is free, that's free. Okay, well let's let's do that. That causes both to to proc, which is great. You have 10, this does 10. We want to we want to get the this going, get the golden shiv. Okay. So many interesting things, so little time. For now we can leave this here and then we get to take one item. This is when a weapon kills an enemy, gain three haste. That doesn't seem like it's going to scale for us quite the way that I want it to. Yeah, the hatchet, the hatchet's been doing good work. Are we going to a shop now? We are going to a shop. So let's just take the most valuable thing, which I think is this. Okay. Now we can finally sell. Oh, there's the Necronomicon. So we're going to sell this for sure. These we're not going to sell. I'm thinking about buying the Buckler. Oh, we do have the Jack Cleaver still. Adjacent Cleaver above... Adjacent cleaver above gets used. Doesn't seem that great. This gets sold. This gets sold. We'll keep this for the moment. Yeah, the jade hatchet. I mean, I just, I don't, maybe I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something. We should probably just pick up another shield. Just so that we're generating a ton of block. And then... So adds two poison to all, adds one poison to self, adds two mana to connected mana stones. The Necronomicon seems awesome. But we are not, we're not doing that mana build life at the moment. When this moves, I don't know if when this moves triggers before or after, uh, I will say. Yeah, I'm not going to buy that just because I want to save our money. So I guess we'll just do that. We have a key? No key. Okay, let's get this purple slime sorted out. Okay, that's that's how you like uh that's how you like those fights to go. Okay, so to me, this is the weapon that I think the wheel could be broken with. Uh or this one. Deal 10 vampirism adds three poison to self. Seems very dangerous, uh, but let's. So here, here's what I'm thinking. We 
we're we're getting weird with it right now. Uh So it'll go boom, boom, boom. So we, we block it here, right? We put our three things like that. Right, and this is gonna do like hundreds of damage AOE, I'm pretty sure. And then we can take some hit points. This may fail spectacularly uh, for the record. But I think it's interesting. Anything that's consumable, we can we can still take. And we do have the ability to generate a stupid amount of block, too. All right. How much experience? We're ways off from our level up. And we're abandoning, like, everything we've, we've found, which is uh, it's a warning sign. Uh, I will not be buying a wand. No, thank you. I hope this works the way that I think it does. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess I shouldn't... I should have put these items uh, on the top edge. But... It's doing 44. That's pretty good. That's That's slightly less than I think I expected or hoped that it would do. Let's give our weapon vampirism. Yeah, we, we may... I think we'll do one big turn and then we'll block up and reorganize. Uh, but we do need more energy to make that work. Also. Now, I can't block up here. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is what this this is what we're made for. So we do something like that, right? Now this is doing 29. All right. It does work. We probably didn't need to spend the uh spend the rest. We didn't need to use up the water flasks. Adjacent or diagonal weapons gain plus 2. We already have kind of our scaling engine. So I think until we level up, we're we're good with this. First shiv, no. My first wand, no, not really. Uh, oh, we're headed into the boss fight. Well, this is going to be interesting. But yeah, the plan is one really big turn and then maybe a respite with a with a break type of thing for a reorganize. Hmm, that was a bad turn. I'm realizing now. We do block for 21. But yeah, the, the fact that we're spending so much energy on making the wheel move, I'm suddenly unsure how we're gonna how we're gonna make this work in the long term term because like if we don't have energy from the flasks it's going to be tough yeah i guess we could just do one wheel and maybe we do one wheel each turn or something like that i mean we're still healing up to full so i'm not a uh... And do we want to go for a pickaxe build again? How does a pickaxe play with... I don't think the pickaxe and the wheel play particularly well together. Okay, so... All wands get this effect applied. On use, this item gets disabled for one turn. Item is conductive, adds two mana. When a wand is used, adds two mana. So that's another sustain option. But, oh, 
all shields get this effect. On use, this item gets plus two spikes. All spikes, okay, so yeah, we take that and we're gonna, we may just end up doing a spikes build. The, uh, yeah, the, the Hercules Pavice, I believe is the way that's pronounced. I actually don't know, uh, is, is pretty adorable. Oh, I, I'm super curious how the wheel, uh, how the wheel is meant to work. Let's see. I'm kind of feeling like now we're in, we're in full shield mode. And I think we're just going to accept that we're only going to use the wheel in one direction. So it, it may be time to start looking for uh, ways to generate regen and generate other things and let the spikes be the be our primary approach. So like if I do this, I gain 10 spikes. So it's, it's hard not to see that as better than the wheel, isn't it? <laughs> I guess we do that for the healing, but, uh, but yeah, I think, I think my vision for this run has changed. Break yourself on my body. Exactly, Joqua. Uh, so I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start pivoting to wands. I think wands pair better with this ridiculous shield build that we have. The other thing does two damage to self. This item gets minus two damage. Gets minus two damage to enemy and plus one damage to self this turn. So the more you use it, the more damage it does. I guess I'll grab, I'll grab a key. Do we have a lock door? Yeah, we do. I think we're just going to be primarily using the buckler, so we might as well do stuff like that. Now, of course, this just does so little damage. We're going to end up with curses for sure, I think. On use, this item gets destroyed. When combat ends, this item gets destroyed. Fine. Okay, the, the spikes are, are bananas. <laughs> So I, I think we are I think we are pivoting. This is this is us pivoting. Yeah, I feel like there's so many things we could do. We have no mana stones. That's a slightly unfortunate situation. Oh my gosh, so it's it's 10 spikes on the first click, 20 spikes on the third, the second click, and 60 spikes on the third click. Okay, so if everything dies before it gives me curses, that seems to solve some problems. Uh, all right, wheel, I tried. I really did. Now, if we get duct tape, I think we can extend this, which is interesting. I want to have a weapon for getting a little bit of vampirism, but I think, I think the uh, the vision has left the building. I don't think the wheel is uh, is on the menu anymore either. So let's grab another shield. Why not? Buy some food. Ah, it's a good food.
Well, the, the counter is poison. That's the, uh, that's the counter, but the, uh, there, yes, there is, there is no counter for the moment. Uh, okay, let's see. Adds two mana to connected mana stones. Interesting. We don't really, I'm really, I'm really betting on us getting away to, uh, to utilize these shields. And I guess that's the, actually, this is, this is uncommon. This is rare. So let's toss this in. There we go. Uh, okay. I've never, I've never done the combat option here. So let's try that out on guard. Ooh. I respect your courage. Fox rapier on use deals 10 damage adds one block. Adjacent and diagonal shields get plus one block this combat. That seems to synergize awfully well with the stuff that we have going on, if I do say so myself. Okay. That may be that may be our new weapon. I'm surprised we didn't have to actually fight though. Given how much thorns we're generating, though, I'm I'm unconvinced that this is a better use of like action economy. So this does this does thirty. You have thirty one. Yep. So that's gonna be it's gonna be better for us to go up to one hundred nineteen thorns. I think. Holy cow. Okay, another mana stone is good. We might be able to make a rocket work. They're kind of fun. Uh, yeah, I, I think we need more energy. I definitely want this. This is removes 100% of all status effects on self. I want to keep this just in case. The damage isn't that important. The shivs, I guess shivs are interesting just because they're free. But, and then, oh, this, this should go over here. Uh, Let's see, if I put that there, put that there, and then swap that. At least this way we can get a little bit of self-healing off of it, I guess. And I want to keep the cleansing bomb for poison. Because poison is going to be a, a real concern for this. Poison is the the counter to, to our current setup. Because it does not proc thorns, I don't believe. Now this is this is the regen wand. We'd prefer the Okay, adjacent clothing not that useful. Common, 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 common. So let's toss this in our inventory. We have a key, so let's go do this. Let's go do this first. Ten HP will apply some poison. Yeah, we don't need the regen. <laughs> Just pass turn and, and let them let them destroy themselves. Uh, this is a run where we might be able to make a brick wall. Uh, since we're but I, I don't understand how you how you do that, just because we tried that once before. We attempted the uh, the creation of the brick wall, and uh, it's definitely not like a viable strategy all on its own. Okay, better mana stone. I have a feeling that at some point wands are going to kind of pop off for us. That's my that's my theory. We still have the cleansing potion in case we run into poison. I would love oh some mirror shields would be huge too, wouldn't they? 
So the mirror shield removes thorns uh, from the enemy and also poison from yourself, I think. Citation needed on that one, but... Oh, interesting. You're going to curse me, eh? That's uh, unexpected. I hope it eventually hits me. I guess I should start hitting it. Because if all it does is curse me, oh my gosh, big curse? No, we'll take seven. Okay, it does hit me, which means it will die. Hundred and twenty eight thorns. Okay, now can we get we can't get to fifty, so we're gonna take another another hit from that. Okay. Another big curse. We'll take another eight. That's uh that's not a sustainable way to deal with curses, uh, for the record. Ooh, the electric arrow is new. Haven't seen that one before. Looks like a whole lot of nothing there. We're going to a shop. So let's see if we can upgrade any of the stuff we're going to be selling. Doesn't look like it. This is a rare. We could get rid of this. Do we have another use for a key? Yeah, on this floor we do. This is rare. That's legendary. I'm probably going to sell the fox rapier. I don't know what I'm replacing it with, though. Okay, this shield. Oh, okay. Which is better? This one is armor. Oh, armor to the left. That doesn't do us any good. This is eight block. This is seven. So this one's technically better also. And then one more thing to sell. Oh, the tower shield is rare though. So wait, this does seven. This does five, but benefits from armor, which we're not going to have because we're going full, full block. But this is better to sell than this. Okay. Okay, so this is getting sold. This is getting sold. The lightning arrow is getting sold. We'll pick that up, and then... The Rose of Thorns doesn't seem that valuable. Yeah, this was a bit of a bust. All right, living shadow again. We've learned our lesson. I think we I think we still scale up our block though in expectation for when it will eventually hit us. Uh I'm going to get us up to full cuz we know that we're taking a uh We know we know we're taking a curse. Uh, three energy to reorganize? No, I think it's... We could have made space for it, but... I should have... I should have used this sooner. To try and offset some of that. 128? Let's not... Let's not get the kill here so that we can do a few hits this way to try and get our hit points up. Okay. Not seeing anything else here that's too transformative. Conductive... Uh, deals five damage to all enemies. That's pretty interesting. So five, ten, fifty. So that would be twenty to all right off the bat. We don't really need the healing. Is there anything else we're planning to sell here? No, not really. And then I guess 
That's doing like the same amount either way, and then we can leave ourselves a little space here for something. Uh, oh, so it's diagonal weapons gain vampirism, and I definitely just broke the benefit of that. There we go. We have a key. It's a chest full of hatchets. Ah, our first poison enemies. All right. Let's see what we get out of this. When your turn ends, this item gets destroyed. Okay. And then I'm going to use up the mana this way just to offset the damage we're going to take here. Oh, joke. I didn't even think about the fact that I could use the vampiric crystal with the skull wand. You're a genius. Uh, this is a... Uh, This is, this is the beginning of poison countering us, though, I fear. Uh, we, need, we need more sustain, because that, uh, that was a relatively trivial fight, and it whooped us. I mean, I can grab some bricks, I guess. Yeah, so we could move this here, and then we could... Oh, it's really hard to get something diagonal to a, to a wand, I'm realizing. That seems reasonable. And then just take two small items in case we come across a place to, to sell them. Okay, so we know we're taking curse damage, so let's just uh, get ourselves regening. Should have used the hatchet. No reason not to. We'll take 10. Yeah, the, the danger zone. 118. All right. Uh, I think we go for as much. See, yeah. Oh, this is the thing. We. Uh, I'm realizing now the one disadvantage is our energy is something that we have, like, opportunity to take advantage of. But we don't have the same... Uh, we don't have the same luxury with the wand because we have no no generation, but these curses are destroying us. Because we have to wait for them to hit us to utilize them, which is not uh, not good. Oh my, though. This is, uh, this is potentially a big pickup. So now, does this one cause this one to chain? That's the question that we are wondering. Uh... We are about to science it, and hopefully not die. Let's see. Add one spikes, I think? To, I guess, this one? Okay. This is a boss floor. Hopefully we don't get hard countered. Uh. <laughs> and then I guess we're just I guess we're just good the blade master okay so we just uh, so does this okay that that did seem to chain yep Seems like we're generating a lot of block. Uh, and let's just regen ourselves as much as possible. Oh, an energy relic? 
And we'd end up taking 13 damage to take it. I think it's worth it, though. All right, 300. Okay. We survived. Now, Frog Totem is probably the play. Because we don't really care about weapon damage. I know, we, we, we just need that little bit of viability. Uh, but it's, it's a bit hard fought at the moment. Uh, and then if I move this like this, and I move this like this, now this... This slot needs to be open. Okay, this this gets us an extra energy, which is good. All of our wands have access. This is no longer effective though. This shield is too big also. We need a we need a smaller shield. And we can just swap we can swap the crossing of these so that this at least we get uh, some healing here. But yeah, this is feeling like a bit of a meme build. And then... For now, at least, we'll carry this along with us. We got we got all the spikes. Rage is not, not what we're looking for. Adds regen to self.